how much do you pay your salespeople? Um, so salespeople, we have a lot of different pay structures uh, depending on the position, but I'll talk about the acquisition manager specifically. It was very similar to Ryan's setup, except for now I think Ryan switched his, he said it a five, I don't know. Anyway, ours is 10% of net profit. And then uh, we have a pack is what we call it. So that's basically like in the beginning it was $2,000. So if we made 10 grand, you subtract the pack, which is like our marketing costs, the yeah. overhead, all of that stuff. And you take that out of the deal. So they would get paid on $8,000. So they'd make $800. Um, it, but we also have a tier system that kind of uh, wants people to hit the next level. So at five and under, you're going to get 10%. At six, you get 11%. At seven, you get 12%. And it goes up to 15%. And that's on closings. That's Cor not on. Correct. That's five closings. So yes. what if you had like one closing, but you got four new deals? So they basically, they will keep it all in track. And so it goes based on when it was. So like, let's just say you got 15 contracts in a month. Two of them fell through. Wherever those two were, there's bumps up. So mm -hmm. everything just bumps up. Got and it. so it's based on whatever actually does close on. Um, so it goes up to 15%, maxes out at 15%. So 15% <laughs> of net, which is pretty crazy. And then uh, we also have different tier structures or bonuses. Um, if you get three deals in a day, you'll get an extra $500 on top of it. Um, on Saturdays, I just did this. I'm probably going to do it for the entire weekend because a lot of the guys don't work on the weekend and I want to incentivize them to anything that we pay out is going to be doubled on the first deal. If you get one before 11 AM, I'll give you an extra 250 bucks. Um, like just different, like things like that. They always did that at the dealership made it a lot a of fun. Or something yeah. Like it's just yeah. like, dude, like life's a game and you got to make it fun and you got to hit like the little achievements. You know, whenever you hit the pinball machine, you like, you get all the little stuff. That's what you want to do. It's like create it like a game to where it's like, oh man, I get this, I get this, I get yeah. that. And we did a lot of fun stuff like that. So anyway, on the weekends, everything is doubled. So if you get a hat trick instead of 500, you get an extra thousand on top of everything else you get. And then we also have it to where the team wants to work together. If you get over five deals on a Saturday and now it's probably going to be the weekend we'll do 150 dollars. i think it's 150 on top of every single deal so if you got three deals that day you get your 500 now double to a thousand plus an extra 150 dollars on each one that you get and everybody else gets 150 so what are they going to want to do they're going to want to maximize over the weekend and do that so just doing different things like that and then incentivize people to yeah produce and push so that's basically our pay scale right now what about for the setters uh so the setters um, they're paid, it's a small salary and they get paid like 3% of the deal. We just set up something with them because we want them to make more because they're making somewhere between 40 and 50 grand a year right now. But obviously the goal is to move them from setters and to move Closer. them into closers. But then also we wanted to make sure that they can incentivize if they learn how to close. So we did the same thing that Ryan Pineda said, where if they close the deal over the phone, they get the full 10%. It doesn't go to the acquisitions guys. So if they can do a one call close, they get 10%. But are they trying to close people? Yeah. 100%. But don't you want those leads to go to... I want If it's a closable deal, dude, I want them to close it. But how, what if they like fumble, they don't close it? Then it goes on to the next, to the acquisitions manager and they're working together on it. Oh, okay. Yep. So then it goes to the closer, which is the acquisitions manager, which they work together. Then you go 10% to 15% for the manager and then the other guy gets 3%. God. But it, it also teaches them that, hey, dude, if it's a closable deal, I'm going to see if I can lock it up. They, they started locking them up, dude. So... There's some personalities that I did not think were ever going to be acquisitions managers that are they're getting very close to being acquisitions managers now. And I didn't know if they had it in them. But mm. when you incentivize by pay, people are willing to say and do some things that make them feel uncomfortable in order to, like, see what they can do. Yeah. And these people want to grow.